Hello there, everybody. This is Pastor Marilyn at Spring Valley Church of God. It is so good to be with you again on this Sunday morning. I hope that you guys are enjoying our uh, Don't Take the Bait series. Um, we are in week five, and then we'll have one more week to go. Um, before we get into our lesson, I wanted to pray with you guys. So let's see, praying hands and praying eyes, boys and girls. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this beautiful Sunday morning. We thank you for the great love you have for us. Thank you for all the great things you are teaching us uh, to help us when we are offended, when our feelings are hurt. You are teaching us how um, to handle that, Lord God, and you are healing our hearts and our minds. Help us to take what we have learned and teach other people about it, to tell them so that they can be uh, set free from unforgiveness and the offenses that are in their heart. We thank you for all the ways you provide for us. We thank you for our families and our friends. Thank you for all of our teachers at school. And thank you for uh, who you are in our lives. You are the greatest God. We love you. Amen. So, boys and girls, for the past um, four weeks, we've been learning, uh, don't take the bait. See that back there? See the little fishies? There's a fence at the end of that fishing rod and the fishies are about to take it. Well, we are saying don't take the bait of offense. What is offense, boys and girls? Do you guys remember from our lessons so far? Let's take a look here. Offense is when our feelings are hurt because someone has done or said something that was rude. Well, we also learned that why me? Why? does uh, offense happen? Well, it happens to everybody. We are not alone. Every single person in the whole wide world is going to have their feelings hurt. They're going to be offended at some point or other. But we've also learned that God is our avenger. When we are offended, God sees, he knows, and he cares. And he wants us to let him handle it to let him get revenge. Sometimes he might punish people for the way that they have hurt or offended us. And sometimes God will actually bless them. But either way, God wants them um, to say that they are sorry and, and actually invite Jesus into their heart so they can be saved if they haven't already. And then what, do we, what should we do when we are offended? Should we get revenge? No. God wants us to love and respect people, no matter how they treat us. And in today's lesson, we are learning how not to be trapped by offense. How do we get trapped by offense? When we are unforgiving, when people hurt us. We get trapped by offense when we hang on to being angry because our feelings are hurt. We are trapped by offense when we don't want to forgive. We are trapped by offense when we don't want to be around someone who has hurt us. What does God tell us to do? He tells us to forgive, even if we have to forgive 70 times 7 in one day. That is just absolutely incredible. Can you guys do the math? What is 70 times 7? Seven times seven is what? 49 at a zero at the end, right? So God is saying forgive even 490 times in just one day. That is absolutely incredible to do. But basically God is saying that no matter how many times someone offends us, he wants us to forgive them. Uh, because if not, we are actually get trapped. Our own heart gets trapped. Look how dark and ugly that is. Because when, when we are offended and we hang on to it and get trapped, inside of our heart, it's as though we have a lot of anger, a lot of hurt, a lot of bitterness. What do you do when somebody offends you? Uh, we've learned in our lessons that even the people who are closest to us will do something to offend us. It could be our um, our brothers and sisters. It could be our friends. It could be someone from school. It could be a teacher or even a coach who offends us. 
but it will happen so oftentimes it's somebody who is close to us. But no matter what, God wants us to forgive them. So usually if we are hurt, we might want to run to our room, right? We close the door and we don't want to come out. We don't want to talk to nobody. We don't want to talk to the person who hurt our feelings, right? Well, when we do that, we have been caught. We are trapped by the bait of offense. Can you guys see that there? What does God want us to do so that we can be set free and also so the other person can be set free? He wants us to forgive, even if we have to give, forgive somebody 490 times in one day. But who can keep track of all of that? And when we do, our hearts are free. They are healthy to love others and to continue forgiving because in the book of Colossians chapter 3, verse 13, God tells us, forgive as the Lord forgave you. See the cross there? Jesus forgave you when he died on the cross for your sins. You remember that, boys and girls? When Jesus hung on the cross? He did it so that we can be forgiven for all of our sins. So the next time somebody does something to offend you, remember, forgive them because Jesus forgives us. Think of the most horriblest thing you've ever done. Maybe you've told a lie. Maybe you have taken something that doesn't belong to you. Maybe you hit somebody. Well, Jesus says that he forgives you. So if somebody does those things to you, Jesus wants you to forgive them. Why? Because he wants our hearts to be nice and healthy. He doesn't want us being stuck. He doesn't want us being trapped. So let's say that memory verse with me, boys and girls. Colossians chapter 3, verse 13. Forgive as the Lord forgave you. Forgive as the Lord forgave you. Colossians chapter 3 verse 13. Can you say that again? Forgive as the Lord forgave you. Colossians chapter 3 verse 13. So now it is time for some questions, boys and girls. What does offense mean? Offense is when somebody hurts our feelings. Why does it happen to me? Why does it happen to you? Well, we are all human and offense happens to everybody. So we're not alone. What does God say he will do if we are offended? He says to let him be our avenger. That reminds me of the superheroes, you know, the Avengers. <laughs> well, God says to let him be our avenger. Let him repay evil for evil. God says that he may punish the person or uh, he may bless them. But his whole goal or reason for doing that is to help them. They will be sorry for what they did. They may even come to you and apologize. And also, you have a chance to tell them about Jesus, especially if you, dis if you forgive them. What does God want us to do? If someone offends us, does he want us to run away and hide in our room and never come out? Does he want us to never speak to that person again? No. God wants us to love and respect that person, just like little David did with King Saul. Remember our story, how King Saul was chasing him and throwing spears at him and trying to kill him. Um, David very easily could have killed him, but he did not. He showed him love and respect because that's what God wanted him to do. And in the end, King Saul actually apologized to David. What does forgive mean, boys and girls? To forgive means to Tell the person that uh, you are going to overlook what they did. It doesn't mean that what they did is okay. It doesn't mean that you won't be hurt or angry. 
It just means you're saying, I'm going to overlook what has been done and uh, we hope that it doesn't happen again. Do you guys remember where our memory verse comes from? Colossians chapter 3 verse 13. Can you say the verse with me? Forgive as the Lord forgave you. Forgive as the Lord forgave you. Well, boys and girls, that is our, our lesson for today. And I wanted you to uh, do a little homework with your parents. Look up in the Bible the story of the unforgiving servant. If you can't read, that's fine. Just have your parents read with you. I'm sure they'll help you out. Or maybe uh, an older brother or sister. All right. Well, that's it, boys and girls. I will see you next time. God bless you. I love you. Bye.